Hello everybody, just a quick update before we get started on forecasts. With the Reiki Apprenticeship Program, we are now at 39% paid. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has donated. And on with your forecasts. Hello there, Taurus. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of November 21st through the 27th. Let me just put down some cards for you and see what comes up. All right, so on Monday, what comes up for you guys is the World Card. Yay! Now, the World Card just means that something that you have been reaching for, some kind of goal, target, or dream, is manifest in your life. It is sort of the completion of the cycle. So while you've been on a journey to manifest this thing, now that journey comes to an end because it's manifested. Now it's time for the next journey. So there you go. Awesome new manifestation in your life on Monday. Taurus, good for you. Tuesday, what you have showing up is the Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups, to me, this is telling me that you're going to be um, doing one of two things. You're going to be taking some kind of romantic action on Tuesday. Maybe you're celebrating an anniversary or going on a date. Uh, maybe you're just flirting, flirting it up with somebody. Um, this can also come in as doing something nice to take care of yourself, to pamper yourself or be luxur luxurious to yourself. All right, so let's look at Wednesday. Here what we have is the Queen of Clubs in Reverse, Taurus. Queen of Clubs in Reverse is just telling me that on Wednesday you are going to be asked to do something creatively for somebody or maybe to help somebody um, with some kind of creative something. I don't know if you're being asked to give advice or give ideas about a book or give your input about things. Um, I feel like you're going to be less than enthused about doing that. In fact, you may not even um, honor that request. So less than feeling less than enthusiastic about whatever that is that you're asked to help with or help for. It kind of feels to me like you feel like, you know, come on, really? You can't handle this? This is kind of the feeling that I'm pulling off of you for Wednesday. And that's something that you want to, you know, kind of be aware of. Is that really the attitude that you want to have? And for each of you, it's going to be different because you have different situations. Let's look at Thursday. Here we do have the Ace of Cups showing up. And the Ace of Cups is just telling me that on Thursday, there is some kind of new interest sparked in you towards something. So this can be a new hobby, maybe you've met a person who's interesting, maybe you have a great new business idea, there's something that is interesting that has you excited, that has you feeling really good and feeling happy, that is just in the very beginning stages on Thursday. Now, let's see, on Friday, what we have showing up for you is the Seven of Coins in Reverse. Seven of Coins in Reverse, to me, talks about that there is something that you have invested in some way or another. Maybe you invested your emotions. Maybe you invested your money. Maybe you invested some time or some labor. That, But there's something that you invested in at some point previously, and you are expecting to get a payout from this thing. I feel like you're hoping to get that payout on Friday. It's not happening yet. When this card comes up, it is coming in, but it's just not coming in right now. So this is a card, when it comes up in reverse, this is a card about having that patience and waiting, knowing that that is coming to you, but it's just not ready for you to have it yet. Looking at Saturday, here what we have is the Ten of Coins showing up in reverse. Ten of Coins in reverse just tells me that you're not feeling very secure Saturday. Something has happened that has impacted that sense of security. So this can be anything from your cell phone not acting right, a flat tire on your vehicle. Um, this can be this can be maybe they cut your hours back at work. This could be um, maybe you had a tree branch that fell into the roof of your house. I mean, there's a lot of different things that can impact somebody's sense of security. And so this is going to manifest in a bunch of different different ways. It doesn't have to be a big deal. It's just something that makes you feel less secure than normal. 
All right, let's look at Sunday. Here what we have coming up is the Two of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse is talking about something that you felt good about, and it can be a relationship. Most times it is, but sometimes it can be about a project for work or a hobby that you were feeling really good about. And now all of a sudden there's some kind of obstacle or some kind of stalemate, something that is, um, now you don't feel so good about it anymore. You're just not, um, there are some obstacles that need to be gotten through before you can get back into that, oh, I feel good about this situation again. So that's what we have coming up for your week, Taurus. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. I will see some of you during the week for Reiki sessions and some of you for readings. Everybody else, I'll see you back here in the next video. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves. And I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass that on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program, and so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no do donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But, so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone, I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate 
and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send. Not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly. Otherwise, I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there. And I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate and um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you, everybody, who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.